Hey, this is Rob from Producer Tech here with our latest feature. This time I thought we'd look at some devices from the last two groups of Reason Rack extensions, those being Creative Effects and Utilities. The Creative Effects group has some really cool and interesting rack units that provide some highly desirable processing to instruments and audio tracks. The one we'll look at here is Buffra, which is a beat repeater from PEF. As with all beat repeaters, it loops a section of audio over and over when you trigger it. But this can be done in a number of ways. The most coarse being with the manual trigger button and length dial. That you can hear if I play my drum loop now, which is a tasty break from DJ Fracture's Loop Master's sample pack, can be used to apply all sorts of stutter effects. So I said this was the most coarse way, because an easier way is with a MIDI keyboard, or the on-screen piano keys, which have been assigned to different lengths already. So you just need to press a key to change the loop length. On the keyboard, the regular divisions of the bar, those being a crotchet or quarter of a bar, quaver or eighth of a bar, and so on, are triggered by every third semitone, with the semitones in between triggering triplet or dotted timings which can produce crazier offbeat patterns. However, the triplet switch on the front panel can be disengaged to remove these irregular divisions, so that every MIDI note triggers a regular loop length, which keeps the effect more aligned with the beats. One thing that makes this effect particularly cool is the ability to customise the audio that is repeated, not just in terms of length, but also direction and position in the signal. In addition to there being past and current modes, with past looping the segment that's just played, so allowing for lazier triggering, and current triggering the segment that's just about to play, so requires more preemptive triggering, there are also forwards-backwards modes, which mean that the loop cycles one way, then the other. And on the end, you've got some useful performance controls, where the pitch bend and mod wheel have been assigned to the loop length and a bit crusher, allowing you to create all sorts of cool glitchy effects on the fly. On the back, you've also got plenty of options for external control, with modulation inputs for all the main parameters. So there's lots of potential for creating your own patterns using the matrix sequencer, which I've got a couple of in the rack here, linked up to the pitch of the loop and the bit crusher. Hear what happens when I play a notes clip on the effects track in the sequencer, and then add the matrix patterns on top to make the sound even more mental. I'll also turn up the randomized dial on the effect which applies some additional start time modulation to the loop to create more of a shuddering effect, and add some stereo width as the left and right channels are modulated slightly differently.
so I can see why Buffra is proving to be another popular rack extension. Let's move on to the last group of devices now, which is utilities. There's currently only one extension in this group, and it's made by Propellerhead. It's a much sought after dual LFO effect called Pulsar, which provides you with an external low frequency oscillator for using to modulate any other rack devices. I've got a bass loop from the same DJ Fracture sample pack in Rex now, and it doesn't have much filtering on it, so there are plenty of high frequencies going on. Then I've added another rack extension, which is a nice sounding analog filter called AF4 from Synapse Audio. This has got some tasty drive on it, so I can filter off the top end whilst adding some more distortion. Now I've added Pulsar to the rack, and one of its CV outputs is connected to the filter cutoff CV in on SF4. So now, when I play the bass loop, you'll hear LFO1 on Pulsar modulating the filter up and down. As you'd expect, you've got the usual LFO level and rate controls to set the amount and speed of the modulation, with a waveform select as well of course, offering all the standard waveform types, as well as some nice stepped options and a cool slope. Then you can customise the LFO effect further by adding some phase offset to change the position in the waveform it starts in, or add some shuffle to make the timing more swung, and so on. At the other end of the front panel, there's another cool feature too, which is an envelope that can be used to adjust the parameters of the LFOs. Here for example, I've got it increasing the level of the LFO, as well as slightly raising the rate. And the envelope has a fairly long attack, and a medium release. So now, when I trigger the envelope using the switch on the front panel, or a note on my MIDI keyboard, I can change the baseline pattern the LFO creates. One thing you may have noticed on the back of Pulsar here is that you also have audio outputs for the LFOs. At the normal rates, the LFO frequency is too low to be heard, but if you unsync it and speed it up, then it starts to create audible pitches. Then the envelope trigger can be used to bring the level of the LFO in and out. So now when I play MIDI notes to trigger the envelope, you can hear we get sound. However, this is all on the same pitch, so we need to turn up the keyboard follow dial, after which the rate adjusts with MIDI notes so a melody can be played. So we have a basic synthesizer here now, where the amplitude envelope is controlled using the attack and release settings, and the oscillator waveform set in the LFO section. There's a very cool movie on the Propellerhead's website explaining all this nicely with diagrams and everything, and demonstrating some other tricks you can do with this setup, such as changing the waveform to a square wave, and then using the shuffle dial to change it into a pulse waveform. However, we can take this even further by connecting LFO2 into the shuffle modulation input for LFO1 on the back, after which it can be used to create a pulse width modulated waveform.
or we could use LFO2 to modulate the rate of LFO1 to create a basic FM synth. So Pulsar is an extremely useful and fun effects device that is a must-have for your Reason library. Plus, it's free till October, so grab it while you can.